All right, what's good, everybody? I didn't think this was going to be the next video I made, actually, but I'm going to talk about Necro. Um, I was planning on making a video about my Sork and talking about the builds that I played there and things that I've experienced with it so that I can talk a little bit about how to play that class. But I'm, I was streaming, and I realized that I have a lot to get off my chest. I have a lot, lot, lot to get off my chest about how Necro is designed in this game, and I just like I need to put it out there so that people can see this. I mean, you know, either chime in with some things that I might have missed or, you know, take from this as a representation that they're not alone in this struggle because I feel like uh, the suffering of Necro, uh, as far as I can tell, is pretty widespread. I don't think anybody has super positive things to say unless you're playing Bone Necro. If you're playing a Bone Necro, um, you can see it on the tree. It's particularly playing around. I believe it's a mixture. I believe it's Bone Spear. It's a really popular one. I know Bone Spear is decent, but it's a little clunkier. Uh, Bone Spear, though, I've seen some incredible footage of the damage that this is putting out. Um, and that's not even what I'm here to talk about. I'm not even here to talk about the damage of these builds. I just want to talk about some of the core fundamental issues with, with Necro, and I think I'll start from the... As of course, so now we're at level 48, um, but it's just... It's, it's as far as I can really will myself into playing my Necro before it really like growed against me how bad this class is. I made it to world tier three. I did my own caps on our like level 46, uh, which is four levels later than I did on my Sork. But granted, my Sork was playing a really turbo nut setup in the level in leveling and I was still like kind of weak. And I still feel like I'm a little weaker than I should be like defensively speaking. I could probably have done a little bit better of a job, but there are just some core issues that personal defenses are not going to solve. Um, and so I want to talk about a couple of those things relatedly. First, I want to talk about the build though, because it, the, you have to understand the build a little bit to understand what the, where these frustrations really came from. So I am playing a Shadow Dot Necro. Uh, that was the plan from level one. I was like, I'm just gonna play Shadow Dot because I really like I really like dot builds and the aesthetic looked really cool. Um, if Corpse Explosion and Blight, Corpse Explosion has an upgrade that makes it turn into a dot effect. You can see it says like Miasma dealing damage over time, and that's just um, here. Blighted Corpse Explosion, it turns from instant damage, turns from standard instant damage to big AoE blob on the floor. Very, very effective tool for squashing out enemies. I believe between levels, this stuff is actually a little bit stronger than my Blight now. Um, and then there's Blight, the other skill, my resource spender that I've been using in order to apply more dots and to get things started usually. Um, has some CC effects and extra good notes to go with it. So overall, the damage core of is pretty nice. Um, this amount of damage I need to do still, I was still need to do, and I never properly made a planner for this because I just got too frustrated before I could get around to making the planner. Um, but when I started out, my thought process was two strong dot skills plus a grouping and a source of grouping and or volt. These three skills are really strong. Corpse Central is a really good skill if you plan on playing a necro. I suggest trying to work this skill in, honestly. I just think it's such a good utility skill as well as, you know, bone, pull, stun. Like, it's got a slow before the, before the pull and the stun. Like, it's just a very, it's a very versatile CC skill. I like it a lot. Um, and then I'm playing around, you know, corpses for fortify, shadow damage stuff here. Army of the dead. Now, this is what bothers me or this is a part of what's going to bother me and it's all this whole and we'll talk about that in a bit the whole build is built around the shadow bite passive which infl inflicting shadow damage upon enemies gives me get, gives them shadow blight which as far as i know actually does not do any damage itself it just marks them and then we do but i do bonus damage to them while they are marked as well as my minions and every 10th damage instance they receive of shadow damage we get a damage proc. Uh, this damage proc is actually extremely reliable. Um, it's very easy to proc. Things I've noticed are that different dots seem to get tick faster. So I don't like I couldn't tell if it was stacking from multiple instances of blight or multiple instances of corpse explosion. But having a blight and a corpse explosion was making it go faster. As well as my minions, if you look at the book of the dead here, I'm running shadow mages alongside an additional bolt every five attacks. Um, and so this is just another source of shadow damage to trigger that sh shadow bite proc. Um, and then if you're curious about the rest of my minion setup here, I have reapers so because they can create corpses when they hit, which is a very, again, very important piece of what I'm doing. And then I actually sacrifice my bone golem for attack speed, mostly because I cannot afford to run go bone golem on the, on my binds because it would take up a slot that I'm not willing to give up on the, on the keyboard. Alternative, alternative to this is 
I think there's a world where instead of bone, I could have gone blood sacrifice. That's the, near the here and there. Back to the issues, though. Now that you understand the core of the build, right? I make corpses through a variety of things, such as reap with its upgrades, or the corpse it, or my skeletons hitting things, or things just dying. And the loot pulls together, and it's very efficient at dealing damage. Problem number one. These fucks right here, these minions, the, these little shits, die so easily. So unbelievably easily. Any, like, any explosive effect, and they're gone. Like, might not be the first one, but they'll be crippled after one thing explodes on them. And that makes it really difficult, right? It means it's a lot of active management. It's even to the point where, like, when I talk about this part of the issue, so I have damage and life for mages, which this is okay, because mages are actually doing a good portion of my damage, or a meaningful portion of my damage. I have damage and life for the, I have damage and life for the warriors too, though. And this is actually a damage node. But, like, I had to take Army of the Dead so that I could re-raise them quickly should they, get, should they get blown up. And I don't want to take too long to re-raise them. And I've been running Unyielding Commanders, the aspect, imprint, uh, while Army of the Dead is active. My minions have 90% DR. Fuck the attack speed for a second. It's the DR that matters on this aspect. Because it actually gives you a window seven seconds where your minions won't just fall over and die when fighting like a butcher for example and it still didn't matter when i did my to my cast stone the tomb ward just wiped my shit or my bad the curator just wiped my shit off the map anyways um and so that's issue number one that i've been having with necro is that the primary core issue with necro or at least for this particular play style is that the minions are trash um and from what i've heard your minions ability does get better as you start to deck out your paragon boards but but no, I said deck out the Paragon board. You need to dedicate almost an entire board worth of points to keeping them alive. That's way too much investment. What, what about like at every point throughout my leveling process, even when I was in dungeons and I was equal level two, these guys were a threat at our, were constantly a threat of death. Um, and that's just not going to suffice. And it's like, not only are they squishy, they have no DR against AOE ground effects, but also the only way to sustain them in combat, at least at an early level before you start finding aspects for it and whatnot, is a recast on a corpse that gives you that's 10% healing over five seconds. Like this shit is barely noticeable. I've watched my minions die to poisons over the like literally like poison ticking down against my healing trying to tick up and like or my bad. This way. Here we go. Healing ticking up, poison ticking down, and I'm just losing that. I'm watching them lose that battle. That's unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. That they can't be sustained at any reasonable level. And there's some aspects that get around this. If I remember correctly, there's um where is it at? Let me find it. Is it this one? Utility. Where did I see this? I saw an aspect. Maybe it's a drop only aspect, which makes this even worse, actually. But there are aspects that allow like your potion to apply to your your minions, and that makes it like part that makes it a little bit more survivable. Like my potion, really? Where is their base sustain at? Where is their base survivability? Where's the function where I can move them out of AOE attacks? Like you do the curator fight, and he does that 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 three line cleave. Your minions are just stuck in it. I can dodge it at least, but they're stuck in it. Now I'm down. I'm down two to four minions minimum. Um, well, if they hadn't got hit by anything else, um, and they're gone, I gotta resummon them now, which gets really annoying if I don't already have corpses made from the reapers attacking stuff before they died. Now I had to reap, build, wait, it, like it, it's just. Because the Reapers only attack every 10 seconds before attack speed. Reap, my skill, can only generate corpses every 5 seconds. So we're like looking at a terrible cycle of any sort of corpse generation. Luckily that fight had adds, but like, what? And that's why we run Army of the Dead, right? It's so I can bring the minions back to life. But my overall experience with this part of the game was just realizing that minions take too fucking much to keep functional. And that makes them bad. It's not that they don't do enough damage, but it's that they are too uncomfortable to include in a build. They require too many accommodations. 
like look at this not only am i giving up one skill slot for race skeleton i have to give up another skill slot currently because of army of the dead and eventually if i want to get this skill slot back so i can run something like blood mist for myself or you know i don't have to crepify in here or iron maiden which there's some stuff with that that i wanted to play around with and look into but to run either of those i either have to give up my minions or give up army of the dead itself but i can't give up army of the dead comfortably because i don't have any way to keep these guys alive right i have to invest deeply into keeping them alive just to get these points back so that i can then go and look at crepify for the CDR enhancement and more importantly the what is it the damage reduction it provides right like a or Iron Maiden but except Iron Maiden doesn't do anything because I'm not dealing direct damage I'm dealing dot like this is the frustration right it's there's so much I want to play around with more things I want to run Blood Mist because being a class oh we're going to get into the point two now because these are this is a great segue into point two Blood Mist feels mandatory honestly because I'm a class with no movement speed. I have very little movement speed on access on tree. Like for example, I actually spent three points in Reaper's Pursuit because it makes me a little bit faster. Like this is more MS than you'll get on a standard MS roll on boots. Like the standard roll, not the, um, at least at this level, not the standard roll, not the um, against elites or the dodge on the three picks, right? But like, I don't have any movement speed. Like, if I just look for, let's see, can I look, movement? Yeah, look at that. Across the entire passive tree, there is one hit for the word movement. One. One. Like, I really want to emphasize one hit for the word movement on the tree in an ARPG, which is just a fundamental design flaw of the class. The class is doomed to be unfunctional, dysfunctional, fucking terrible whatever word you want to use to describe it because it can't move there's so many ground effects so many cc effects so many just the dumb shit like the the, the wind walls that get put up by the windy prefix modifiers prefix on elites you gotta move around those with what movement skill with what movement speed blood mist right oh wait uh um, shit i don't know how i'm gonna fit blood mist in here yet i have these minions that are fucking dysfunctional Right. The two biggest issues I've run into with Necro so far have really just been that the minions do not live and the class cannot move. Um, and I don't even like I have a plethora of things that I would suggest to solve it, but I'm going to leave it to Blizzard to figure I'll put some ideas here. You guys could toss some more in the comments and we could all just loathe together about how bad this class really is. Um, my suggestions would be in terms of minion survivability, minions need a protection against zone damage. When I say do zone damage, I'm talking about dot puddles. I'm talking about flaming elite death explosions. I'm talking about corpse hosts when they die, their explosion that needs to do less damage as well. Um, anything that does zone damage just includes the curator's three department attack. If it is area based damage of any sort, there needs to be a massive reduction modifier applied to damage that's dealt to your minions. Um, because you cannot make them dodge it and it is very clearly scaled to be a meaningful threat to you a character who can dodge it um it's either that or they need to severely up the lower end values on these minions so that they actually have survivability number two i would strongly recommend give them some fucking recovery or buff the priest either the priest needs to give something closer to 30 30 percent per five or i need to be able to spam it to front load the, to have like a rolling heal the same way dots have rolling stats uh, if you like for example if i slam multiple blights on a target in this game um all of them will do damage over time which is a very it's a big departure for me coming from poe i'm used to my zone dots only doing one instance of damage by how many zones are the same there are so if we're gonna have zone dot stacking i need the heal from this to either stack and i can just spam this to get things healed or i'm gonna need this healing to be massively increased or i'm gonna need the minions to have natural in combat recovery not just the out of combat recovery in combat recovery this has to happen these are the two things that I feel like, and this is talking about mostly the, the warriors and the mages. I haven't really experienced with the golem, but I've heard that the golem doesn't have these problems. So I'm not really going to talk about the golem. I'm talking mostly about the warriors and the mages, the ones that are really bread and butter to build foundations need to be functional if they're going to take up a skill slot. And in a lot, in my current case, two skill slots to be functional. 
And part two, Necro needs to be able to move. I don't care if it's as simple as slap movement speed on half the passives on this tree. Because also, if I look at the Paragon board, the Paragon board is also lacking in tree. I can't show you here because I'm not a Paragon. I'm the level 50. I can just go through the boards and really show you how little the word movement shows up. But I, I assure you, it's ugly. Check d4builds.gg and go look around. You'll see for yourself. There is no movement. How are you supposed to play an ARPG when you can't dodge, when you can't move so you can farm faster? Like, there was like a whole revelation in PoE forever ago for me when I realized that my character's ability was based on my ability to move more efficiently. Or like in D3, when I was pushing ladder, season over season, starting in season 12, I think was the first time I really started like ladder pushing. Um, so much of my survivability didn't come from all the stats. Yeah, I had some good stats, but it was also the knowledge that I needed to move that got me out of situations, right? Like, oh, I need to very quickly vault out of this pack. I need to very quickly teleport out of this pack. Um, very quickly, I should charge to the other side of this pack so I can get away from this thing, right? Whatever my movement option needed to be, there needed to be a movement option. Even Witch Doctor didn't have like a formal teleport, but was there a spirit walk? But you could also just use the chicken form to run through, right? Like there, there was always this requirement for movement in these types of games because there's so much damage predicated on your physical ability to dodge it. Um, and not being able to do so feels terrible just from a, a character sort of ability standpoint. And then we're going to talk about farming. If we get into farming efficiency, it feels even worse to not be able to move because now I'm stuck moving a turtle pace throughout every dungeon, throughout every world zone. Like trying to do Helltide on my Necro felt way worse than doing it on my Sork. And like, it's not even a character power differential. It's literally, I can't move as fast as my Sork. My Sork moves at a pace where it is super efficient for me to farm Helltides by never mounting unless I'm in an extreme dry pouch patch of enemies. And that is not true on my necro and it's not a not a damage thing i'm literally talking about the fact that like if i'm like trying to waddle 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 it just don't fucking work necro needs movement options um also related to this i think it's extremely stupid that blood mist takes away movement speed like just i feel like necro suffers from two problems of the same fruit which is them dealing with the fact that necro was extremely overtuned in the beta um there was a really strong setup for the skeletons at level at 25 mind you at level 25 they were freaking out that the macro was so strong and they just hamstringed literally everything but also there's this like this bad design this core philosophy of the fact that they wanted minions to probably be more interactive which is to, against the point of minions and then to add on to that you know necro was turbo busted in d3 when it came out right it was the class that you paid 20 bucks for alone right or was it 15 it was one of those you paid 15 or 20 dollars to get access to necromancer there was no other content crusader at least you got alongside purchasing a reaper of souls so that you could play all of the new content but they charged you specifically for necromancer and necromancer was broken because of it um, and I guess they wanted to overcorrect this time to atone for their sins for making Necromancer extremely ridiculous in D3, but I think they've gone way too far. Sorry, this turned into a bit of, this is a bit of a rant. I've moved real quickly through a lot of this because I'm just uber frustrated about the set of this class because I had a lot of really cool ideas. The Shadow Dot playlist, that was really, really cool to me and I really wanted to play through this some more, but I'm going to wait until Necro buffs come through to like actually make this playable. And then once that's playable, I will probably come back and revisit this concept, but I will also talk about my newest idea. And I will post videos about these coming up at some point about the two concepts. Once I finish building up the Shadow Necro plan and I have the plan built for the Blood Wave Necro. Yeah, Blood Wave. You got that right. In case anyone's that Scariest Blood Wave, the ultimate. I have been thinking about this skill a lot because this skill fascinates me. And I think there's an incredible amount of potential here. But again, I will not be playing Necro until these issues get fixed so that I can then actually play a holistic character as opposed to a character hamstrung by his arms and knees. But in short, we're going to try the dot character, we're going to try that as a well-rounded character. And then we're going to look at Blood Wave because I realize that there's too much ultimate scaling in a game for there not to be an ultimate that's worth scaling. And I think Blood Wave... Um, in shadow with shadow investment and a lot of cooldown stuff I'm looking at what could be a sub eight second cooldown on blood wave altogether with things added together And it's probably could get even lower if I look a little bit harder So we are going to come back to this idea when necro is playable It just you know, uh, this is just me laying it out there why necro is not playable, right? Like if you've been watching my streams and you wonder why I won't be playing necro for the coming future This video contains it all in case you missed the rant on stream Speaking of the stream, come check me out live. I'm usually on live, what, 
every night that isn't a two, uh, isn't a Sunday or a Wednesday, and sometimes Sunday. We never really know that. But anyway, if it's not a Sunday or a Wednesday, I'm probably live. Link will be in the description box down below, as well as you, just, you can check out the Discord because you know we hang out there, we talk stuff. You can you you can put my mind on nights when I'm not live. You can just be like, hey, what you think, bro? Like just hit me with it. Um, this is just a real this is a real emotion filled video because I'm just it, it always sucks to to have an idea but have the game stand in the way so aggressively of of making you want to pursue the idea not even viability i'm not even i'm not even concerned about the viability of the builds themselves it's literally just that the play of necro feels like shit and i felt like i needed to put that out there um because it's now been a couple of us in my friend group that have all made this decision together where we were like we should try necro we tried it it fell flat on its goddamn face and i want to make sure i warn people about it so that they don't they at least know what I just want you to know what you're getting yourself into if you choose to play Necro or again feel solidarity in the fact that your struggles are not alone and if you're a bone Necro the only one you really relate to is the movement I know but like I just want to really like put this out there just to air out the thoughts anyways thank you for listening to me Ram I'm sorry I was like it was like Go to come through with some more positive when I come through with some more positive videos um coming up. I just I, I needed to get this out there. I needed to get these feelings out there before they ate me alive. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.